Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe at home. Today's video is all about Fenty by Rihanna. Believe it or not, <laughs> I had never tried a Fenty product until about a month ago. I got sent a really generous package from them and today I created this entire look using mostly Fenty products and if you guys are interested, I did something a little different. I know some of you guys wanted to see me incorporate some different colors and different techniques and styles. I got really inspired by my nails and created this look for you guys. I'll be teaching you how to do the look as well as sharing with you my insights on the brand, my thoughts on the products that I'm using in the video, as well as what I think about Fenty as a brand in general and sharing with you my review. So if you guys are interested, Keep on watching and let's get started. So to start off, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Primer. This is their Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And to apply that, I'm using their 110 Foundation Brush. This is the only primer that I tried from Fenty. It has a really nice soft silk finish when after you apply it and it is hydrating. However, I don't feel that it helps keep my makeup on any longer uh, than when I don't use it. So I don't find myself reaching for it that much. Next for foundation, I'll be using the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I am currently in between shades and so I'm mixing 240 and 290 together. It has a pump that looks like this. I will not, however, be using a Fenty brush to apply my foundation. I really didn't find one that I liked. I've tried both of these. This is the 110 and the 115 foundation brush. I used this for the primer. I did find, though, that this one is great for skincare. The bristles are a little bit too dense for me for how I like to apply my foundation. So instead, I'll be using this brush. It's actually called a bronzer brush. So I'll be applying this on my skin. So this foundation, I feel like you have to really buff it into your skin and a little bit goes a long way. This foundation is medium coverage and uh, they claim that it's buildable and I have tried to build it and it is, but the consistency, the finish of this product is almost gel-like. And so imagine layering like a gel on top of a gel. I feel like it, um, it has like that dewy hydrating finish, but it sets a little tacky. So because of that, I've noticed that when I layer it, it looks a little unflattering. So I'd rather just go in some of these areas where I have pigmentation with a concealer rather than layering on top. So what I like to do with this foundation is just apply a really thin layer and even out my skin tone that way and then take care of the dark spots and any other areas where I want more coverage with a concealer. I think this foundation is good for people who like a true medium coverage. Is this my favorite foundation? Probably not, but I like to use these on my mommy days where I'm just running errands and I just want my skin tone to be slightly evened, but I don't wanna wear a whole lot of makeup. I find that I like the way it looks on those days. So next, I'm gonna go into concealer. So this is the Instant Retouch Concealer and I'll be using this on my cheeks for a little bit more coverage. This is the number 235. So you can kind of see right here, I have a dark spot that I want to cover up. And then I'm going to pat that in with a Fenty sponge. But what I learned from trying it out so many times was that I just didn't like it under my eyes. On spots on my skin where I wanted extra coverage, I didn't mind it, I liked it. So for my under eyes, I'm going to use a different concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'll be using the color Custard. I know this is a full face using Fenty, but I just don't think it makes sense to use something that I know that I don't like. And I feel like when I force myself to use something that, and I know that doesn't deliver, it just makes me feel like a little insecure about make my makeup. I don't feel as confident and it kind of just bothers me. And this sponge is the Fenty sponge. It's about $16, which is reasonable. Um, it's not bad, I like the texture of it. 
I don't know if I love this flat top though. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to using a pointed blender. Um, I feel like I can't get into hard to reach areas because this area is so large. I think the texture is nice, the sponge texture. Next, I'll be setting my skin with the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. One thing I love about the whole brand though is most of their products, especially their skin products like powder, foundation, primer, their sprays, everything smells. It has this really nice, subtle vanilla scent. And I am very sensitive to scents and also very picky. I'm not a fan of really strong, overpowering smells. And all of the Fenty products I feel like have a really nice smell. So I'm gonna take that on the sponge. This is the step where I kind of wish the sponge was not the shape. Because I feel like I really can't get into this inner corner. And I only want to use a little bit. I feel like if I use too much, this powder looks a little bit too cakey. And I'm pretty much just going to do that all over my skin. The way I apply my foundation is very precise. And because I am doing everything to really cover up a lot of these hyperpigmentation and sunspots that I have around my cheeks, I don't want to use a brush to kind of dig into the makeup and remove it, I guess. And so I like to just really pat everything in really gently and layer it without disturbing the layers that are underneath. And then I do find that if I put this powder on my eyebrows, my eyebrows draw on much better. Next up is bronzer. This is called Sunstalker, <laughs> instant warmth bronzer in Shady Biz. I really like this bronzer. I probably one of my favorite things from the Fenty line is this bronzer. I have their bronzer brush also not my favorite. I think this would be great for someone who really buffs product in, doesn't want a whole lot of coverage. When I apply my bronzer and my blush, I like with everything, I pat it in really gently because I don't want to remove or streak up any of the product that I've applied on my skin already. So this is the kind of brush I like to use. This is by Morphe, it's E4. And I usually pat it into the bronzer and then tap it into my skin. I find that doing it this way really gives a nice perfected finish and then it keeps everything else looking great. I really like the color of this bronzer. It's very natural. They have a ton of bronzer shades, which I think that's really cool. The brand is very inclusive, especially to um, more warmer, darker skin tones. And I love that. I think that's why I love this bronzer because I had so many options to choose from. Uh, there were so many even in this shade area that had different undertones. So I really like that about the brand. Then taking a Fenty 240 eyeshadow brush, I really like pretty much all of their eyeshadow brushes. I have several of them here and I'll be using all of them for eye tutorial. For this look but I really like all of them I find that the shape is really great the bristles work great with wet or dry powder products um, really like them so I'll be using this one this is number 240 and I will take this right into my eye socket so I haven't started my eyeshadow part of this video yet I consider this to be part of my contouring. So before I do my nose contour, I usually always contour my eyes a little bit. And to do that, I find my socket bone. Sometimes we'll even look down like this and apply it at this angle. So not like this. So this is like right on top. I kind of get into it and apply the shade from under so that it really creates that depth that I want in my eyes. And then I like to follow it into this part as I begin my nose contour. 
This is a great brush for nose contour as well. All right, and for blush, I'll do that at the very end. I like to add the color to my face towards the end. Next is my brows. This is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. I am using the color Black Brown. They also have a ton of eyebrow shades. I really like their eyebrow pencil. I Basically, as soon as I got it, I haven't been using anything else. And it has this really cool brush um, in the back and I really like it. It's different. Everyone usually puts a spoolie there and I find that this brush works really well and I like it. The brow pencil is definitely one of my favorite products from the brand. Now if I wanted to just be super nitpicky even though they have a ton of colors, I had a hard time finding a color that was like the perfect match. And I'm only being picky because there are a few other brands and pencils that I find really matches my hair color. So like when you see this, it's pretty close, but my hair has like a, like a brown tinge to it that this is quite not brown enough, but then if I use some of their brown pencils, it's a little too brown. But this is the one I've been using most of the time, and it's all right. I like the formula and everything, um, but I do wish I could find a color that was my perfect shade. And I know that's possible because I have pencils that I really like that match my, my hair tone perfectly. So I'm mixing in just a little bit of their dark auburn color. So you can kind of see how my hair is, it's almost black, but it's not black. Because when I use black, my eyebrows look crazy. It has a little bit of like a really deep version of this hue. It's like an auburny, I would describe my hair color as like a really rich, deep, like chocolate. And so I feel like it, it's missing that undertone when I use the other shade. Do you guys see the difference in the color? Do you see how this is more like a gray, ashy brown, and this now has a little bit of that warmth that my hair does? Also, I think the reason why I like this pencil so much is because of the way it feels in my hand. It has this like very nice triangular shape to it. And so it makes it very easy and stable in my hands to apply. All right, I zoomed you guys in a little bit more. I had a viewer ask to see things a little bit more closely. So here we are. Thank you for that comment, by the way. And I am blending that contour out a little bit more. This is the bronzer that I added earlier with the same 240 brush. I'm using it to lift my eye. I want to make sure I have some warmth on my eyes because I'm going to be using a lot of cool tone colors today. So as my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a couple eyeshadow palettes. The first eyeshadow palette I'll be using is called Moroccan Spice. This is what the colors look like. And I'll be taking this color here called Shisha Smoke. I, so I'm doing my best to use colors that I normally don't gravitate towards. So Fenty has some really good palettes with warm shades like this. This is my dream orangey corally colors. They have colors, a palette that looks like this, neutrals and browns. I really like the Fenty eyeshadows, but I wanted to utilize a couple of these palettes that I have to create a look that I don't normally do and also utilize colors that I don't normally gravitate towards. So I'm gonna grab that bluey gray color on the Fenty 230 brush and I'm gonna apply this here to the outer corner. And as I build the color, I am going to wing it out as well as kind of carve out the crease here. Do you see how I'm taking the brush and applying it from under? So I'm not going like this. I'm laying the brush flat. 
and sort of finding that bone here and pushing into it as I apply. And then I'm going to cover my lash line in this as well. And to really clean up that edge, I'm gonna use a sponge to create a nice line for myself and deepen it up without making it messy. Like this side was starting to lose shape, so I really need the sponge to keep it in its boundaries. Sometimes when you over blend, you can lose shape of your eyeshadow, so it's Nice to find a straight edge. I really like using these sponges for that. The next palette I'll be using is called Snap Shadows and this is in the number eight. They have a bunch of these palettes that you can snap together, which is probably why they're called Snap Shadows. So you can snap them together and they open on each end. I think that would be great for travel. So this is what the eyeshadow that I'm using looks like. As you can tell, I was very inspired by my nails and I will be going in with these two colors, mixing them on this brush, Fenty 200 Eye Brush. I'll be mixing the shades Move As Boy and Mualala. Mualala, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not saying these shades right. So I'm gonna mix those on the Fenty brush and I want this to be kind of sheer actually. So before I do that, I'm going to bake just right under here a little bit so I don't get that fallout. This is honestly mainly just so I don't get fallout. So then I'll be taking this right here in the center of my eyelid and blending it upwards. Also, when I want to change shadows, I've been using the Fenty brush cleaning sponge. I have things like this from a different brand. I think it's called Color Switch, but Fenty has one too, which is kind of cute. Um, so I'll be using this. So I want to make this a little more green than it is. So I just take this and rub into my sponge and all of that comes off and I can switch my color. I'm going to add a little bit more green to that. Shade. And then kind of just buffing and blending upwards. Next, I'm taking the Fenty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. This is a really intense primer. It really locks it in. And for that reason, I kind of don't like it to use all over my eye. Um, I still prefer just putting foundation or concealer and setting with powder. I find that works really good for me. But I like this for when I want to intensify color, when I want to use glitter, things like that. So I'll be applying this a little bit on the back of my hand. And using this brush, this is not a Fenty brush. I don't have a brush like this from Fenty. This is the MAC 242. And with a little bit of that Fenty eye primer here on my hand, I will be drawing a line from the inner corner of my eye to about the middle of my eye. Just like that. All right, and then taking the previous eyeshadow palette, I'll be taking this lighter blue shade, which is called Dirty Denim, on the same brush that still has that primer on there, and I'll be drawing right over top of that line. Just like that. Next, taking that same MAC brush and I'm gonna go into the green color, the Moolala, and apply a little bit of that right underneath. So it adds a little bit of that green glow and blend it down. And then I'll be taking the gold from the palette and just applying the tiniest bit right over top of the blue and that is the upper lid complete. I'm a really big fan of the Fenty eyeshadows. They all are really nice in my opinion. But Moroccan Spice palette and these smaller snap shadows. I really like all of the eyeshadows. They're really good quality. They are highly pigmented. 
and they work really well. So I'm just blending a little bit. Next up is the Fenty liner. This is called Fly Liner because I'm black. <laughs> the name. I like this liner a lot. I've been using it a lot on myself and a lot of clients. It's very easy to use. It's pigmented. It's one of my favorites from the line. Then with a flat brush, this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH43 brush. I am going to just clean up this line right here. It has a touch of concealer on it. Pretty much nothing. Now, I don't have a black eyeshadow, any Fenty eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna use some black eyeshadow that I have on a Fenty 220 Precision Brush. I'm gonna buff out this liner and smoke it out just a little bit. Now that I'm Finished with my upper eyelid, I am going to brush off this bottom bake so it's nice and clean. And now we're going to move on to the lower lash line, the 200 eyeshadow brush. I've been using this to apply the green and blue colors, but I just cleaned it off in the sponge so I can switch out colors. I'm going to take my bronzer and apply this under my eyes. Then clean off again and back into the gray blue color called Shisha Smoke. And I'm gonna concentrate it here in the outer corners. Now I'm gonna take a black eyeliner. This is one by NARS. I don't have a Fenty liner, pencil liner, so I'll just use this one and connect it to the top liner. Then I'll be using a black eyeshadow to blend out that liner. I find that if I really fill in this corner of my eye here, it really makes my eyes look bigger. So if you kind of look at the difference here, I have a lot more black here at the bottom corner where here it's not as much. I find that it really rounds out my eye. All right, so next I am gonna curl my lashes and I'll be using, this is the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara in the color Cause I'm Black. I'm not a huge mascara girl, but I like this mascara a lot. Um, it does what I need it to, but, but that's pretty much all I can say. You know, I don't have super long or voluminous eyelashes, so no matter what I use, I don't get really that much impact anyway. I basically pretty much just use mascara to make them look black. <laughs> it's the main reason why I use mascara. Pretty much nothing else, because I really don't feel like if I use any mascara, it makes an impact on my eyelashes, because they are pretty small and short and not voluminous. But I do feel like the shape of the spoolie is very comfortable to use. Now to finish off the eye, I'm going to take a little bit of the gold from this palette and apply this at the bottom inner corner, just right there, and mix in a little bit of the blue, this one here. All right, <clears throat> I just popped on some eyelashes. These are by the brand Kiss in style number 11. Have those on. And next, I'm gonna put on some highlighter. For Fenty highlighters, uh, they have really good highlighters. Uh, with that being said, they're also super, super shimmery and almost glittery. They're very, oh my God, there's a bee in here. Wait, no, what is that? It's a fly. What am I gonna do with that? Fenty has some really good highlighters. Some of them, Fenty has some really good highlighters. They're super pigmented and shimmery. 
They work really well as like blush if you have darker tones like this also. Oh my God, this fly is so big. It keeps interrupting my video. I'm gonna get him. You're not welcome here. <laughs> Some of them I would even use as blush. They're very pigmented, beautiful colors. Um, this one called Trophy Wife is a very popular color in the brand. I used it as an eyeshadow one day and it works really well. I don't know that I am the kind of girl that would use this as a highlighter, but they have some really great colors for women who really like to play with color and experiment with makeup. I am gonna use the shade Hustla Baby. A little bit goes a long way. I almost feel like that's even a little too much for me. So I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge. And let's put just a little bit here. All right, and for my blush, I don't own a Fenty blush color that I think would go well with this look. I have been using this a lot lately. This is the Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I have been using this, but it's very shimmery and I don't want to use a shimmery blush today. The blush I'll be using is by Rimmel. It's called Sweet Cheeks in the color 04. I wanna add color without adding a bunch of sheen because I do have texture here on my cheeks and I don't want to emphasize that with a bunch of shimmer. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my forehead. And what I like to do towards the end is take my blush and apply it to my crease so that all the colors on my skin, on my face, are also translated to my eyes. And that's how you can get a really dramatic look like this to look great. Oh, blush is everything. I didn't have blush on for most of the video and I finally feel like a human being. If you don't use blush, you're really missing out. With the Fenty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray, I'm gonna spray that all over my face. It has a very light scent. It comes out very light, I feel like. I wished the sprayer was a little better. I feel like I have to spray quite a lot to get the amount that I like. I like the smell of it. I just don't like that I have to spray and pump it so many times. I think it just comes out very fine. Yeah, it's just a very, very fine mist. And so if you like more, if you like it to really uh, wet in your makeup and set it that way, you just have to use a lot more of it. Now for my lips, I'm gonna first start with this lip pencil. This is a Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the color Undercover. Then I'll be taking the Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in the color Up to No Good. This is a really great color if you want a really nice uh, warm tone nude, like a peachy nude. It's very nude, so I'm just patting it very lightly. Pretty. And then lately I have been liking a more glossier lip. So over top, I'll be using the Fenty Gloss Balm in the color Fenty Glow. And I like to put it on top of lighter lip colors. I feel like it really brings my natural lip color back into it. If you have a lip color that's similar to mine, you would really like this gloss. Really pretty. Glossy. Oh, and I wanted to mention, because I only used one shade from this palette, if you watched my previous video, I used a few other colors from here, and I used this white pink iridescent color, this pink one, and this color down here. So if you guys are interested, I have a tutorial of that on my Instagram. Um, I, I like this palette, and I like the other eyeshadow palette too. So that completes my full face using Fenty tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful. To quickly overview my thoughts on Fenty, if I were to recommend my favorite products from Fenty, I would say definitely check out their eyebrow pencil. That's probably my favorite thing out of the line. Um, I like their fly liner, 
Their lipstick and gloss is great if you find a color that you like. I think their formula is good. I am really into all of the eyeshadows, the colors, uh, the bronzers. I'm really into all of their color products, whether that's blush, eyeshadow, bronzer, lip products. Um, some of the products that I felt like I had trouble with were foundation, the primer, the spray, and more of the face products were not my favorite. I liked that they had a really large range of colors to choose from, which is great. It might just be that it didn't work out for me. Because I, I want a higher coverage and I expect a certain blendability and buildability with my foundations, the Fenty one that I used today wasn't my favorite. I know they have a more higher coverage foundation, but I heard that that is matte, and I know I will not like that because I like that dewy finish. And I've had a lot of friends tell me that they're not a huge fan because it's super, super matte, and that's not um, my preference. Um, so the skin products, the the foundations, the primers were not necessarily my favorite, but they also weren't like awful, I still would probably use it. I would find places and instances to incorporate them into my routine because I actually do like using them. I like the way they look. I like the way they smell. Um, and sometimes with products, it's not just the way they apply on. It's kind of, it has to be both user-friendly and interesting to look at and all of the above. So overall, I really like the brand. You know, it's rare for me to like everything from one brand. So Fenty is not any different from what I experience with other brands. So I think this is pretty normal. Um, Fenty's pricing is pretty competitive with the pricing that you would find at stores like Sephora and Ulta. It's actually a little bit slightly on the lower end. It's not super, super outrageously expensive. I like that the brand is very inclusive and innovative in the color choices that they make. Um, I can't say that I use products like this normally and I felt like because I had these palettes that had these really unique colors in it that I was inspired to do something different. So that is my general overview. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. It was also kind of challenging and hard to just use all products from one brand. If you have any questions about different products from Fenty, I may or may not have already used or tried them. Um, I only included just the few that I wanted to use in this tutorial. So if you have questions about that, you can leave them in the comments and I can get back to you. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll leave links to that below. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you later.